This Ridley O sponsored by Keen Vention Yard Info. It's a Keen Convention, you'll have to go. So, why is it that in Turkey, someone tries to build a shopping mall, the entire country rises in revolt? While well, almost at the same time, it's revealed that the U.S. government has comprehensively spied on pretty much all Americans. But in the U.S., I can't even name a single protest that has happened as a result of this spying. Probably there has been something, but nothing I've heard of. What is it about Americans that makes them willing to put up with so much craziness that foreigners would not put up with from their governments? Have you noticed that the, some of the presidents of Croatia have, I guess at least one, have been sort of run out on a rail and I think prosecuted? A president of uh, Pakistan is on trial or, you know, under some sort of indictment or something, a former president. I think maybe the one before that, one of the ones before that was too. When was the last time a U.S. president had to go to jail for anything or even face indictment, really? The president of Peru had to flee the country, not even one of their worst. And maybe I should say former president. This business about Americans being all liberty-oriented, I think it's bunk. I think Americans are a bunch of pushovers, the people, compared to what you find in a lot of other countries. I think maybe it's because people here aren't hungry. Although, as Yoda once put it, You will be. You will be. Actually, come to think of it, there are not a whole ton of hungry people in Istanbul either, but... In any event, the American public reaction is just not what it could be. There were even two, I guess, different articles in major, nominally libertarian U.S. publications. Articles imp implying that, the, that, that the, the Fed spying program wasn't that big a deal. But I think of it kind of the way that Facebook meme thinks of it. There's this meme going around with a picture of Richard Nixon and a picture of Barack Obama, and with Nixon it says basically, you know, wiretapped one office gets thrown out. <laughs> and Obama, wiretaps entire country, still in power. As long as I'm kind of on the subject of Turkey, I would kind of like to pee-pee in the L.A. Times cornflakes just a little bit. I appreciate that they're bringing attention to the, <laughs> to the, to the protests over there, but... They made a comment that I think is indicative of what's wrong with almost all media coverage these days. Here's the quote. Quote, The last two weeks of unrest revealed national fissures and a belief by many that their leader will get his way in the end. Unquote. Well, Turkey's Prime Minister uh, Erdogan, if I'm saying that right, is not their leader. not the, He's not the leader of the protesters. He's the leader of the people who voted for him, maybe, at best. A person who you do not support is not your leader. Barack Obama is not my leader. He's the strong man who rules over the territory I live in. You know, that kind of thinking is what leads people to hate all Iraqis or oppose all Iraqis because of Saddam Hussein, or to be against the average Iranian because of the, the Iranian leader, who's really a strong man. Leader is such a, a deferential term. And look, there you see I even used it myself. At any rate, however it's described, yet again, it's the rest of the world showing Americans how to do it. That's Ridley O. sponsored by... Convention Yard Info, it's a keen convention, you'll have to go. Only 50 bucks held near the peak of leaf-peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. November 1st through the 3rd. Convention Yard Info, it's a keen convention, you'll have to go.